Jared Poland Fro knows photo dot com and I wanted to try something new today and it's called the blind raw edit that means I am not actually seeing the file that Adam selected because I don't know what he selected he's got a lot of files to choose from and I thought it would be cool to sit here and call out the changes while I'm sitting in front of my develop panel in Lightroom and seeing just my own images uh, and see what we come up with I may try a black and white I may try to do it in color but it's going to be cool to see what we come up with. Adam, did you choose an image? I did. Yeah? Yeah. And you can't tell me anything about it, can you? I could tell you all about it, but I won't. But you won't. No. You? It, that's why it's blind. Yeah, so... Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I have an idea of what I want to do. Well, let me ask um, you this. Do you think that if you had a sense of what the edit was about, even if you hadn't seen it, that that would make it maybe give you a better sense of what to do? Because... I think the difference between like editing like a picture of a car or a landscape or a, a portrait would really kind of change the nature. Oh, absolutely! Of things. If if I knew what the subject matter was, I would have a a better chance of telling you exactly what to do. So, do we want to bring that in, or do we want no. you to be completely in the dark? No, I'll be completely in the dark. Okay. Maybe for the first one, I'll be <clears throat> completely in the dark, and All right. then maybe you can then tell me what it is. Okay. And then I can go from there and see. If knowing what it is will change the edit, how about this? Why don't we Why don't we do it where you do it completely blind? Then I tell you what it is, and then maybe you refine it. What? Did you get that? No, you broke up. You You do a blind edit. I tell you what it is, and then you decide if you want to refine your edit. Well, I think we should do it twofold. I should do the blind one, right? Save it as a snapshot, and then you tell me what it is. And then save that as a snapshot, and then put both of them, you know, and then we'll see what they both look like to see which was closer or if it made a difference. Right. And then how you might have done it differently now that, you know, once having seen it. And then it. when I see it. Okay, cool. Very All right, cool. so let, let's get started. You ready? I mean, yep. I, as we've talked about before, I do have an idea of what I like to do generally for my own images. And sometimes it's pumping up the exposure slightly, sure. pumping up the contrast, moving the black levels slightly. Right. Uh, and white balance, but that's what I, th those are my go to things to start. Okay. And then after that, you know, it's all based on the image. So let, why don't we start with some exposure? All right. Uh, skip the exposure. I don't know what to do with that. Go with the contrast. <laughs> sure. Let's, let's bump that contrast to 83. Wow. I mean, yeah, wow. okay. Yeah. 83 on the contrast. So that's going to change that a little bit. Yep. It, Exposure. I'm I'm scared to go either way right now on this because I don't know which way it is. Um, but I'm gonna go again with bumping it to 0.25 quarter stop. Okay. Um, I don't like to touch re recovery. I don't know if it needs some fill light yet. Black levels. Let's take it to seven. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh, on the clarity, bump yep. it to about 14. Okay. Vibrance. We're gonna. I don't always pump vibrance. I mean, sometimes I go the other way. I could go black and white. Right. But do I want to go black and white? Is the question. Mm. Hmm. No. Let's stick with the color. Go vibrance plus five. Saturation plus two. I mean, you can always go black and white as a second snapshot. Yeah. And let's go up to color temperature. Okay. I think it, I think it needs to warm up slightly. So. Um, drag it four hairs to the right. You know, you know what I'm saying. Yep. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's go down to general sharpening. I want to throw my own personal general sharpening settings into that because you don't have my preset. Nope. Amount 45. Okay. Radius 1. Yep. Detail 39. Yep. And masking 70. Gotcha. All right. Uh, I, I'm not going to touch tone curves because that's something that I really need to see when I'm doing it. I well, most of the time. Uh, okay. Um, um, does it need more contrast? Does it need more contrast or black levels? I don't know. For some reason, I'm feeling I don't know, like, some reason I'm feeling like saturation. It needs more. a bump plus three so more. Plus five on the saturation. Total, yeah. Total, okay. yeah. I, I don't normally touch that, but I just feel, something, right just feel now, something right now telling okay. me to do that. All right. Then. All right. Then. You know, go fill light to four. All right. And then blacks to and then seven. blacks to blacks seven. Are at seven. 
Oh, they're at seven? Okay, oh, they're at seven? Eight. Okay, go to, go to eight. Oh, go okay. to nine. Um, tint. Um, yes. Tint. I need a hair, I need, to, the right. a hair to, the right. to the right. A hair to the right. I think it's too green. Not that I can see it, but I'm going to go with the hair too green because I, I always to the right, done. seem to find... Hair to the right. All right. <laughs> um, Let's see. Let's see. I want to go post-crop vignette, post vignette All right. again. Highlight priority? Highlight priority. Highlight priority. Um, amount. We go negative here because I want the, the black. Let's go to negative 31. Okay. Leave the midpoint, yep. what's it at, 50? That's because it's a, That's cause it's a, a what, canned yep. setting already. Feather, do I want it? Feather, do I want it? Oh, I like the feather. Uh, 70 okay. on the feather. Can you, can you want to add and a bunch it. of grain to it? No, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> you sure now? Positive. Positive. Okay. So that's, so that's lock that in for, uh, for uh, snapshot number one, please. And I'll throw a black and white in there as snapshot two before you tell me what okay. it is. So you, you locked it in? So you, you locked, locked it in? in. All right. Take all right. out all my saturation, all my saturation and vibrance, please. Don't utilize the V okay. key. Just because that's my personal Just preference. My personal preference. Uh, exposure uh, is at what, 0.25? Exposure is at 0.25. Which way should we take that? Which way should we take that? Oh. <sighs> Contrast is where? Contrast is where? 83. Okay, bump my contrast, okay, to, 99. Bump my contrast to 99. Please. 99? Yes. Yes. All right. Color temperature, I'd like, Color to, temperature, move I'd like to move to 39... 93. Okay. Um, fill light, jump, um, that, fill light, to jump that to 17. <laughs> okay. And blacks, let's move, and them, blacks, to let's move them to... Uh, 20... 26. All right. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. that. Lock that in for number Maybe two. Keep the post crop vignetting as it was from before? Yeah, let's keep it the same. Yeah, let's keep okay. it the same. So this is two. And now, and now I don't want to see it yet, but tell me what the photo. Like, this type. was a shot that I did when I was at the Kings County Jerky. Um, kitchen where he was slicing the meat and he had this beautiful piece of uh, marbled beef uh, and he's extending it out in his hand so I've selectively focused on the piece of beef and his um, kind of chainmail glove his hand reached out so you see him and you see the cutting board and the kitchen so what's in focus so what's in focus the beef that's kind of it, it's just the beef it's just, just the, the beef. beef all right let's go let's go back all right let's go edit. let's go back to a color edit okay let's start fresh so let's start fresh, start fresh. Yeah. I'm hitting reset. Yeah. Got it? Yep. Got it? Contrast. Yep. Contrast. Bump that contrast up, to, that about contrast up to about 90, 90. for color. 90. Okay. Um, exposure. Um, exposure. Yep. Um, um, it needs to be a little brighter. It needs to be a little brighter. Go to point three. Go to point three. Okay. Um, um, blacks. Yep. Blacks. Yep. <clears throat> Needs a little uh, contrast, went up, contrast went up, so that pop. pop that made it pop. Blacks, so yeah, blacks, and yeah, and this isn't going to work in black and white because it's about the beef. So, so give me, give me, give me, uh, give me, give me, give me uh, eight on yep. the black. Two on the fill light. Two on the fill light. Okay. Bump my clarity. Bump my clarity to about twenty six. Okay. Pump the vibrance. Pump the vibrance to about seventeen. Okay. And I got to think of the lighting in this situation uh, for the for the temperature. I'm not telling you. No, I know, no, I know. No, I know, no, I know, I know, I know. Temperature, temperature. Temperature, temperature. Is it warm or is it cold? Is it warm or is it cold? Is it warm or is it cold? All right, I just need a smidgen more warmth. A smidgen more. Um, and just throw my general sharpening back in there. Which I need to tell I you again, I assume. 45, 45 139.70. And I don't want the post crop vignette on, on, on this. And I don't think this is, is going to go black and white, so. Tint, tint. Tint, tint. Give me a plus three. Give me a plus uh, three. Uh, away, what it's already set, uh, what it's already set right. to, preset. Uh, do I want to go that 
uh, do I want to go that way? Because I don't want it to be green. I definitely don't want it to be green because it's meat. Um, yeah, give me a plus three from where it's okay. at right now. And then let's, let's, uh, and then let's, lock, let's uh, lock that lock in. Lock that in. As a third edit. As a third edit. Oh. Got it? One Got sec. It. I, I hit new preset instead of a new snapshot. Okay. All right, now let's share some screen so I can see the 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 all three edits. Well, one at a time, I guess. Well, one at a time, I guess. All right. All right. So, here's this is number 1. That's number, number one. 3. Okay, not bad. Okay, not, not bad. bad. Little yellow, but okay. Little, Little yellow, yellow, but okay, next. You want to see the the second color edit? No, let's see black and white. No, let's see black and white. Black and white. Okay, now let's see the second the second color edit. edit. No, let's see black and white. Black and white. Oh, snap. That looks oh, really good. Oh, snap. It does. That looks it really good. Works. Oh, that works. Wow, yeah. that works. Wow. I wasn't going to say anything. All right, number three. All right, number three. And number three is much closer. You know, if you look at three versus one, um, I don't mind the vignetting in one, but I don't mind the vignetting, I don't mind the vignetting either. I just think either. that, that, that one maybe just to be a little bit too warm, um, too warm. whereas I think the color balance in three is nice. All right, drop that fill light. Right, drop that fill light in real three quick for me. In, in three, yeah. In, get in three, yeah. Get right. rid of that fill light. Um, contrast is good. I can't believe that black and white worked really well. Yeah, I mean, one thing. And pump that, that? Pump that black a little bit more. Go to go to like twelve on the blacks. Go to twelve on the blacks. Go to twelve on the blacks for this. Uh, okay. I mean, do you have any um, better sense about the lighting on this? Uh, the lighting looks to be. Uh, the lighting good. looks to be pretty good. Um, I kind of figured that, kind of figured that the, exposure the, the exposure would be pretty close to begin with. I just wanted to, I just felt I needed to brighten it up a little bit just based off of just, I don't know, it's just what I felt like. So what, so what do you think uh, for an edit of one of your own photos? How do, how I mean, I think, think it's pretty went? good. I think I had a basic edit, which we can, let's see, let me create, this is going to be number four. So this will be Jared four. And this is kind of where you want to keep it, right? Um, I think I had a quick edit that I had done before, and I, I think I did something like this. All right, so you. All right, so contract, you leave your contract. You left your contract. Well honestly, down. I didn't really put a lot of time into this particular edit because this wasn't one of like my top, top, top picks. Sure. Um, sure. So I think I probably had just copy and pasted settings, um, but okay. yours is is brighter and warmer, which I really like. Um, one I like that right. post prop. Like post -prop now, one vignette. thing that's interesting, if you look at the before and after, um, you can see how much sharper it looks and how the 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 beef just like really you know has much nicer quality. Pops. Go to number two. Let's Let, see that go to number two. Let's see that black sure. and white again. That's super nice. That's, that's right there. That's, that's super right nice. there. Booyaka um, shot. One thing you didn't even pick up on is that that I actually fired a flash on this. Oh, did you? And it actually oh, had like a um, an orange CTO gel in the flash that actually warmed up the shot a bit. Because if you look at the original shot, you can see it's it's you know it's got a little bit of that kind of orangey glow to it. You can see the kind of catch light sure. in his glasses there. Hard to tell. All right. Well, I think All right. it's, uh, well, I, I, think think it's uh, I think it was a good first think? experiment. What I think, think so. Um, I think that not knowing anything about the image and how it was shot is um, very challenging. And I think that for the purpose of the image, you know, I mean, for the purpose of this kind of edit, you really have to start with an image that, you know, is pretty close in exposure. Because you can't be doing like, you know, uh, you can't be trying to recover an image when you can't even see it. Sure, yeah, I mean... Uh, sure, yeah, I mean... I would have tried. I mean, I would have tried. I would have tried. tried, I mean... And 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 that could be the fun of it in the future is taking it to the extremes maybe. I mean, I like to obviously edit good photos. You don't want to edit crappy photos. But if it just needed to be brought back, then maybe. You yeah, know, I like this. Maybe I can start asking. Here, how about this? In the future, I would add some, after like edit after edit one, I could start asking questions and yeah, then maybe get some I would feedback. Do that. I'm going to just add a little post crop vignetting in here. And I'm going to take your settings, the minus 30 and plus 70 on the on the feather. Yeah. Um, yeah. And uh, I really like that. Good. Yeah. Well, Good. We well, I think we should probably wrap this one up. Nice job, man. And yeah, thank you for picking that. But I mean, that's interesting. So I think it got pretty close. Surprised that the black and white was yeah, black was right and white on. And uh, well, pretty close. So. Yeah, what do you guys so, think, yeah, do you guys think of this? Do you like these blind edits? Let us know. Leave 
Uh, let us know. Leave a comment down below or on the website in the Facebook comment box. Uh, I thought it was a lot of fun. I think we're going to adapt this and, and change it and, and come up with new ways of doing it. But really, that, that black and white's popping. I love how the chain mail on the hand really pops out. So maybe we'll get you guys involved and have you guys try a raw edit, blind raw edit. Um, Adam, thank, thank you very you. much. No problem, and until, no problem. until the next time, Jared Poland, fro knows photo.com. Photo. See ya.